Hey guys, Tepco Sack Repair. Today we're going to be going over how to change your jets on the bike so you don't have to pull the car. It's really simple on this beta. Stay tuned. Let's get started. All right, so a lot of times when you're trying to get your bike dialed in when you first got it, you're going to be having to change jets a lot. And having a bike where you got to swing the tail open, to get to the carb, and you know do a whole bunch of things is a real pain. But the beta makes it pretty easy. What we're going to do here is uh, we're going to take off this chain uh, guard right here. So we got an 8mm here. And then there's an eight millimeter on the back side of this. So for the back, the one on the back side, I'm going to be using this um, gear wrench ratchet, makes it easy. And then eight millimeter for this. I'm going to pull those two out. I'm going to loosen the uh, intake boot right here, and then the other one on the intake manifold right there, just so you can rotate the car. But there's enough slack and everything that we're able to just rotate it, and then pull off the 17 millimeter in the back. So let me get that uh, taken broken down for you. Just gotta loosen this one enough so you can slide it out of the way. Then take your guard, slide it all the way up. All right, loosen the two clamps. Okay. Now we're just gonna take the carb and rotate it. There's enough slack in everything that you can just rotate this. And with that guard out of the way, all right, so this uh, lower cap right here is a 14 millimeter. Has an O-ring in there. Make sure your gas is off. Gonna let that drain a second. All right, so with the cap out right here, 14 millimeter, O-ring is behind it. I'm going to be using this, uh, this is a, a, a tusk tool here, and it's a, it's made for changing out jets. So it comes with a, um, just kind of a knurled handle, and these are magnetic. They drop in there. All right, so you have a couple different sizes. The um, shorter flathead right here is a little bit too short for this. And this one is almost a little bit too long, but it does work. You just got to push the carb a little bit more. So I'm just going to keep tension on the carb here so I can get in there. There we go. I'm going to take that out. All right, and there we go. And what I'm doing here in this one here, I'm taking out a 40 and putting in a 38. And guys, this also will take out your main jet. The piece that where the uh, flathead fits in there, it drops right in here and you can you can just stick this in there and get your main jet out also. It's a pretty cool little tool. Jetting will vary. Depends on where you're riding. Watch a couple videos on that. So let's drop this 38 in there. All right, dropping jets happen. Make sure you don't get any uh, dirt in there when you dropped it. Make sure you blow it out. Make sure there's no debris in there. And this is also gonna prevent you from making it too tight. You just want to make sure that your jets bottom out, snug, and that's it. Now look, jets have fallen out before, but don't put them in too tight. All right, I found bikes before when I've taken it apart and the main jet's laying in the bottom. But if you make it snug, you're fine. If you make it too tight, you're going to strip it. Don't go crazy. Same thing with this bottom cap right here, the access bolts for the jets. You're just going to make that snug as well. That's it. Rotate this back. Make sure your cables, everything is good. Nothing got messed up. Check out the tab in the front. There's a locator pin that goes on the intake boot. Make sure that's where it's supposed to be. 
tighten everything up. Always check your boots too. Make sure when you rotated it, it didn't rotate out of the uh, out of the airbox boot because that happens sometimes, and you don't want to suck in any air through the unfiltered air. I'm gonna get up with Beta. I'm not happy how this thing fits on here because this looks like it's bent outwards and it should be sitting in there a little bit more. I don't know what their deal is there. I mean, they could have done a better job. There's a torque spec on this, it's very low. So we're just gonna make that. Same thing on here. Guys, and that's all there is to it. It's really simple. You should be able to do this on the on the side of the trail if you need to, um, while you're setting your bike up, initial adjustments. Um, if you get the perfect setting, you want to take note of that. There's a couple programs out there where you can change the temperature, altitude, weather, um, humidity, and all that stuff, and it'll give you different um, jettings uh, to set it up so you can set it up prior to going to the track. I'll put a link in the description for the tool, so uh, make sure you look that up. It was pretty helpful on this. It seemed make, made it pretty easy. So, Guys, get those bikes jetted right. You know me with two strokes. It's only going to blow smoke when it's cold. But when it's warmed up, you shouldn't be blowing any smoke, okay? A little puff here and there is all you should get. If you got spooge running down your pipe and it's all, make sure you get your bike jetted right. You're losing power. You're losing response, throttle response. And, uh, you know, the, the bike is not giving you everything it can. Until next time, guys, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. This is Tepco Sock Repair.